Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out a full face of Blue Heaven Cosmetics. Now, I have not used any of the products before except for the lipsticks because I'm a lipstick fiend and uh, the shades that I picked out are so beautiful that I just had to try them out. So that alone I had used like I think like a few days back uh, and I was wearing it on and off. So that is that. Now before we can get into the video and everything else, I would like to really thank you guys. I have just hit 100 subscribers. So thank you so much. And even the comments that I get so far have really cheered up my depressed ass. So thank you so much for that. And there is a giveaway coming up soon. So do not forget to click on the subscribe button. Now Blue Heaven Cosmetics, I cannot believe that they have so many products which are so inexpensive and so affordable and they are made in India which is the best thing. Now as much as I love to support an Indian made brand, it is extremely disappointing that they do not have a proper shade range when it comes to their foundations or concealers. They have like two shades for foundations. I'm like. Why? Because India is one of the most diverse country in the world and since they are made in India, uh, I don't know. So I will be reviewing the foundations just for the purpose of the video and the viewers because I know that people do buy them but this will never be like my personal go-to or something that I would ever recommend to anyone so I, I don't know if that makes any sense but that is that. So before we can test all these products out, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. All right, so my eyebrows are already done. If I'm not wrong, they do not have an eyebrow product. And let's start with the first thing, which is the primer. So it is a clear kind of uh, primer. Now it says oil free, non greasy. Now I do have an extremely oily, greasy ass skin. So hopefully this will be helpful. Let me try on one side and see how it looks. Okay, I can feel the silicone, so. It has smoothed my skin out but I don't see any much difference in my pores like it is still there so you guys see this is pretty mattified and smooth compared to this side where it's a little bit shiny so it has completely mattified my skin which is a good thing and it is extremely smooth right now but I do not see any difference in the pores as well, so that's that. It's just the same, but not that bad. Now, coming to the foundation, I picked up two of them. One is the waterproof makeup foundation in the shade Natural, and the other is the oil free makeup foundation, and this is in the shade Cream Beige. So, this is the other one that I picked up. Now, I don't know which one to use. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one because the claims are extremely high because it says it's easily spreading, water resistant, non-oily, enriched with aloe vera, improves natural skin texture, controls sebum and gives your facial skin a flawless matte finish all day long. Claims are really high but let's see. Oh, it's so orangey. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. Let me quickly shake it up. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna first dot it. Oh, it has a smell. I don't like it. There is no much coverage. Okay, I'm just gonna go in to put a lot more. Hmm. Okay, so one side is done and I feel that this is an extremely sheer to uh, 
buildable kind of a medium coverage like I can still see my blemishes peeking through and you saw the amount of product that I had used and uh, so far I see that it is extremely blendable uh, because I did put a lot of foundation uh, but apart from that uh, the blemishes were not covered as much and it has given like a soft matte finish not like a matte matte finish uh, but this is pretty good uh, for an everyday basis or if you have like a flawless skin without any spots or blemishes it will be good uh, but the color is quite off but apart from that it is okay so for the concealer I have is the makeup stick now it comes like a little bit bigger than a, a lipstick and this one is in shade 03 natural blending well okay concealer come through so the concealer did help I feel that it blended flawlessly it was good it is pretty creamy I don't know for my oily skin how long this will last but so far so good it covered up really well seriously it did it did a great job okay so moving to the translucent setting powder now the weird thing is it says that it's a translucent powder but it has a shade so and this is how big it is which is good it comes in a nice puff like this oh this is really strong okay this smell is strong I don't like it now for the setting powder i'm going to bake it in one half of my face and the other half i'm just going to like powder it so we're gonna see how it looks in both ends and see if it works and for the other side i'm just going to like pat it all over my face So far this side I am actually pretty impressed that it has kind of mattified my skin and it has, it looks good. So while this side is baking, um, let me quickly talk about is for their contouring and bronzer. They do not have anything in particular, uh, but I did pick up the waterproof pancake uh, kind of powder. So this one I got in the shade Toasted Almond. Uh, now I thought it will be much more darker but it is not so today we're gonna skip on the contouring so let me take off the bake this is pretty good like you see this side it is properly baked and this side you can see a little bit of shine the setting powder a plus so this is how the face is looking so far and I'm really happy about the powder. Now coming to the eyeshadows, I picked up two of them. One is the Blue Heaven Fashion Eyeshadows, I think that's what it's called. So this is how the eyeshadow comes in and all the shades are kind of shimmery shades. So that's the reason why I picked up the second eyeshadow which has all mattes in them. Now I got this signature vibrant eyeshadow palette in number three and I actually like the packaging. I'm so surprised. So it comes like this and then like this. Ta-da! Now mainly I picked this eyeshadow palette is for the brown and this kind of a pale pink uh, for the crease and transition. Oh, it smells very strong, this one. Let me see if this one also smells. It has but it's a very faint smell which is bearable, which is fine. So for the first shade I'm gonna go is with this brown color right here and hope that this blends well. Before that, usually when I do my eyeshadow, I usually use a concealer and set it with a translucent powder. I'm just gonna try and see if that works. Like I'm gonna use it first on one eye. It's not that tacky, which is fine. 
Let me go this eye without setting it with a translucent powder and see what happens. Not bad. Okay, so now I'm going to take this pink, the pale pink color and just go kind of all over the lid. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the same concealer and coat this concealer kind of a brush with it. Let me see if I can cut my crease with this concealer. Now it did a decent job. So, but let me see if that shimmery kind of eyeshadow kind of sticks to it. Okay, so in this eyeshadow, my bad, there are two matte shades. That is this white color and this yellow, like they are matte. So today I'm gonna stay safe and go with the gold color right here. shade which is actually pretty nice now the gold is on on both the eyes now just for the outer corner I'm gonna deepen it now for the outer corner I'm going to use the same matte brown and blend through now for the lower lash line I'm going to use this bright green color and I'm gonna use the same brush that it came in just to see if it works to line like the lower lashes because it is really thin and precise it works okay so far i love this so the next product is the eyeliner now this eyeliner it is uh it says it is matte waterproof rub proof ultra black quick drying long wear matte hmm it is a bit sheer like not opaque on the first Thing, but you need to go back and forth but it is fine now I feel that this is not quick drying it's still taking some time to dry right now uh, but apart from that it is okay um, and the only other thing is that it's not too comfortable for me you know to use it because it is pretty chubby and thick and when it comes to eyeliner I like it to be a little bit more thinly built so that is that but apart from that it's okay it's not that bad like end of the day it does the job and for a very less price <laughs> so next we have is the mascara this is how the wand is which is actually nice it's nicely curved so that's good length and volume base to tip curl visible lift long wear results okay long wear results and smudge proof so it's a waterproof waterproof i thought i got a non-waterproof one okay so i feel that the mascara did not do much it just feels like i think the formula is a bit runny or liquidy due to which it's not kind of lifting the lashes so this is the kajal which apparently is supposed to be long lasting extra black smudge proof waterproof as well so let's open this baby up so this is the pencil it comes with a sharpener at the back now i don't understand why it needs a sharpener when it is the roll type of a kajal so that's odd but yeah okay so far so good now coming to the blush and highlighter part of it um they do not have like a specific highlighter kind of a thing they do have is a blush which looks like a highlighter so i picked that up so the two colors that i picked up is 503 for the blush okay the packaging is extremely bad like this thing broke already so great now for the highlighter one that i picked up is 505 uh is the shade number and this is another beautiful goldeny kind of a shade so this is 503 and this is 505 which i'm going to use as a highlighter and it is beautiful oh the smell okay i didn't expect it to be this pigmented so now i'm going to take the loose powder and take my damp beauty sponge 
and just go over it so that it turns it down a bit now for the highlighter because my face is super matte right now I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and for the price this is amazing highlighter is bomb which is actually a blush in 505 this is amazing for the price point the only con is the smell which is too strong so now coming for the lipsticks now i got four different lipsticks now three of them are from the non-transfer lipsticks which is 711 713 and 714 and is the gossip matte lipstick in 02 the 711 one that broke on me as soon as i got it on the same day i just applied one coat and it just cracked out so this is broken like i guess it's because of the formula it is so matte and drying now with these lipsticks they are extremely matte and they tend to get a bit difficult to apply so the best way which i found is to apply a lip balm first and then go with the shade so this one is twig brown for you the next one is truffle brown so this is truffle brown the next one is caramel cult trust me all these shades like i said beautiful ones and last but not the least is the blue heaven gossip matte lipstick in 02 and the last step is going to be is the makeup fixer which uh, is a mist spray on formula so this was another pricey item at 300 rupees and it also has 15 percent extra now it says it's paraben free and goodness of aloe vera vitamin e and vitamin b5 oh so let's finish off the look with the setting spray oh it smells weird absorbed pretty fast so what i have applied is the truffle brown 713 on my lips and i am done with the full face of makeup and this is the finished look so that is it and this completes today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i do upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i'll try my best to do that for you and follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye